connectivity to IFC, just have a test connection to IFC A. And by the way, um, actually, um, the connectivity type here, uh, we have several types here. We can not be signed according to the IFC, IFC um, um, to according order of the whatever SAP, um, ERP, CRM, SCM, or MDM, or whatever, if they have the IFC um, available there. And then we will even we can call. Um, the GDBC we make a um, correct statement um, that would be um, very useful as well um, to create a, a GDBC um, and periodic read and then even we call the uh, B1TI we call the file as well we call the external HTTP call uh, to retrieve the information or a web service um, as well so for, for me I'm going to use an IFCA Okay, by the way, we already succeed to make the IFC A code um, in our testing. And then I need to, uh, for here, I need to specify the system ID, which system are you going to call. I'm going to call my system ID uh, for, for my case, is this one. It is the one that represent my SAP EIP uh, system. So I just give him this one. And for the, uh, we need to, um, uh, we need to note um, the what, is the exa mode uh, we need to prepare the payload um, for the IFC call request so um, so that's your you need to know your um, what are you going to call uh, what are you going to call for me I'm going to calling the BAPI I'm going to call the BAPI call uh, the BAPI name it is BAPI IFC call name is BAPI and sales order and get list so I just opened the uh, function module um, builder there by the SE37 and then just put the name uh, put the BAPI uh, IFC call name here just uh, click display and then now we can have the own information or, or about this uh, BAPI uh, IFC call here uh, for me I, I'm only um, uh, interesting on the how I need to prepare the request so I need to prepare the request like this way. I need to give in the information about the uh, what customer uh, of the sales order and what material or what even uh, document date for me. I just would like to make it very simple one. So I need to uh, prepare um, this inbound um, exam mode um, request um, to calling uh, to hand over to my um, IFC call here. To hand over to my IFC code here, and then you are coding um, the IFC, my SAP ERP via this XML um, um, request here. So I need to um, create a file. I need to create a file. So I need to create the XML style sheet file uh, to represent um, the call request there. So I need to go into the BIU. Um, I need to go to this one and not this one I need to create a one more XML stack sheet file so I just would like to click a new file and then choosing the SSL XML stack sheet version 1.0 generic one and then I would like to um, uh, for me I just would like to um, uh, because I don't want to um, type from the scratch um, Maybe I just uh, copy something uh, from this one here. This, this is the one, the default one. The system helped me to define. Um, I would like to uh, copy the template um, here, and then just put it to my new file here. Um, um, actually, I just need to. Um, Uh, because this is my uh, my sender, this is my sender, uh, my all over the my sender um, system here. So I just would like to prepare uh, my XML um, in the in this way. We need to uh, prepare the XML request like this way. Um, the this the BAPI name 
and this the inbound parameter we have seen in the function module there customer number and then sales organization um, here so I just would like to uh, make it very easy I don't want to type too much just copy this one and um, you can follow the uh, the function module here to prepare the XML here uh, with the namespace here um, never mind I would send and um, publish all of this um, note and then um, as a result you can follow the uh, follow the exercise there okay I just need to go to the my XML um, here and then uh, for the very simple demo, I would like to hard code my customer number or sales organization number. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, Might be you can prepare this kind of information with one more additional call. Uh, remember here, uh, we even we can make one more additional call to call the uh, circle statement from the utifying table to get this information uh, dynamically from the um, utifying table 